Meantime, a special treat for stargazers right now, a supermoon. This is a live look taken from Mission Trails Regional Park, giving you a telescopic view. For those who don't know, this supermoon is called the Sturgeon Moon. But a rarity comes at the end of August with a second supermoon. Well, it's beautiful to look at in the sky. The Sturgeon Moon is actually having an effect down here on Earth. Its gravitational pull is leading to flooding in some areas, including the bayside of Mission Beach. That's where we find CBS 8's Richard Allen, who's live with more. Well, that's right, guys. High tide was at around 9.30, about half an hour ago. And as I step out of the way, you can still see that high tide coming in, covering the walkway here, lapping up against a lot of homes as well. And in some cases, actually seeping into some people's back patios, all thanks to the gravitational pull of tonight's majestic supermoon. Luckily, we're here today in paradise, but yet last night was in paradise. This is video of that flooding last night, which caught a lot of Mission Beach residents off guard. Shocked me. We go for a walk this time of night, and we got back, and it was unbelievable the amount of water that was coming over already. They're concerned that tonight could be worse, although they say they are prepared. We have sandbags in case we need them. Along with that concern, though, is genuine excitement over tonight's supermoon. It's like that new energy exchange. Yeah. It's, you know, a big, big Southern California word, you know, the new moon, You're new start. It's the right start of a new month, so we're excited about it. And local astrophotographer Maxwell Palau is even more excited because of what else August has in store for us. We're having a blue moon this month. The blue moon meaning that we're going to have two full moons this month. Palau, who lectures on both astronomy and photography, says the supermoon occurs when the moon gets closest to Earth in its orbit. The moon's orbit isn't perfectly circular. It's a little bit elliptical. And what that means is kind of an oval shape. And it's when it gets to that little skinny portion of the oval and a full moon, that's when you get a supermoon. Palau also says that because the moon is so bright, you can appreciate it almost anywhere in the county. And of course, to enjoy it a little bit more, getting out further away from the city lights is always a little better. Such as Mission Trails Regional Park or Ramona. Palau also says that while a pricier DSLR or mirrorless camera will capture the finest images, an iPhone will also do a decent job when it comes to shooting the moon. Especially if you put an iPhone up to a telescope or some kind of a magnified optic, then that's, that's when you get some really cool photos. And back out live, here is one more live look at tonight's supermoon through a telescope. This telescopic image here is coming to you from Mission Trails Regional Park, thanks in part to photographer Maxwell Palau. In fact, if you want to take out, check out more of his work, just go to www.stardude.org or on Instagram at Stardude Astronomy. And as Palau mentioned, this is the first of two supermoons this month. So if you miss it tonight, you'll have another chance to check out the next supermoon, the blue moon, coming up on August 30th. Jesse and Carla.